Hello everyone, my name is Tyler, and this week I'll be going over the Shape tab in Unity's Particle System Editor. So without further ado, let's get started. Now there's two different things that um, the shape of an emitter will determine in Unity. The first is the spawning location of each particle, and the second is the velocity of each particle, which is basically the direction the particle will be moving in, and how quickly it will be moving in that direction. So, as you can see here, the default uh, shape of an emitter in Unity is a cone. And if you look closely, you can see that um, the particles are spawning in the lower part of this cone as denoted by the circle, and are traveling in an outwards direction as denoted by the shape of the cone itself. So there are various ways you can manipulate the geometry of the shapes in Unity, and I'm going to be going over the different variables that will let you do that. So for cones, the angle between these two circles is denoted by this variable here, and you can change any of these variables by either typing in the number or by clicking and dragging one of these little blue squares, um, and as you can see it changes it accordingly. So the angle between these two shapes um, is basically determining how much outward velocity the particles are having. If you increase it, the particles will be going basically in a more wide direction, and if you narrow it, the particles will be going in a more unified straight line. So the next variable is the radius, and that will change the radius of both the top circle and the bottom circle, and that will also affect um, the outward velocity of each particle and the spawning location. So if you increase the radius, particles will be spawning in a much wider area, and if you decrease the radius, the particles will be spawning in a much smaller area. So I'm going to reset these real quick before we move on to the next part of the video, which is um, also directly related to the spawning location of each particle. So right now we have the particles um, spawning from the base of the cone, which as you can see is denoted by the circle. We can change this to the base shell, which means that the particles will be allowed to travel along the edge of the cone instead of being confined um, strictly to the insides of the cone. So this can be useful if you have a cone-shaped object and you want to um, have the particles directly travel alongside that object. The next thing that you can do is you, have the, you can have the particles spawn inside the cone itself instead of just inside the circle at the bottom here, which is also handy when you have cone-shaped um, objects that you want to spawn particles from. Volume shell is similar to the base shell in that the particles will be allowed to spawn both um, alongside the edge of the particles area. Yeah, so there's that. Um, if you clicked random direction, uh, the particles will spawn inside the cone, but their velocity will be randomized, so they'll just travel basically anywhere, anywhere that they want to. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the next shape, which is a sphere. So spheres um, basically have particles uh, spawn inside the sphere and um, travel in an outwards direction from the sphere as a default. So you can change the radius of the sphere by, again, dragging these, or by editing this value here, which I will do right now. That's a really big number, so it's not shown up. There we go. Um, you can also have it emit, instead of from inside the shell, you can have it emit along the edge of the shell. So if you have um, kind of a closed uh, sphere object, you can have the particles emit from the sphere instead of having them look like they're coming from inside the sphere. Um, Random direction is also here, and instead of going in a unified outward direction, the particles will again randomly spawn, um, as selected right now, on the edge of the sphere, and then they can travel either through the sphere to the other side or outwards. So it's a little bit, as it uh, turns out, more random. So next is hemisphere, which is like sphere, but it's basically just cut in half, where the particles will be going outwards from the top half of the sphere. Um, the settings here are the same. The radius will change um, how large the shape is. Emit from shell will determine whether or not the particles spawn inside the hemisphere or not. And random direction will also determine uh, basically if the vo their velocity is randomized. So let me reset these real quick and then move on to the next one, which is box. This is also the last shape that we'll be coming covering in this video. I'll be covering uh, mesh in a letter video when um, We'll be going over mesh renderers and mesh-shaped uh, emitters. So, box, you can change the length, width, and height of the box by manipulating either these values or, again, manipulating the little blue boxes that Unity likes so much. Um, and as you can see here, the default uh, velocity of each particle is uh, in the y direction. 
So you can change that by hitting random direction or by changing um, the initial velocity here. Uh, that's basically it for shapes, but before I go, I do want to show you one interesting thing that you can do with uh, a sphere. So you can have it emit from the shell, and then you can see here that the um, initial speed of the particle system is 5, so if I change it to negative 1, and then increase the size of the shell a little bit, you can have an interesting effect that's kind of looking like more of an implosion than an explosion. So um, that's one interesting uh, manipulation of shapes that you can do um, that looks pretty cool. So that's it for this week. Next week I'll be going over uh, velocity over lifetime, and then if I have time I'll be going over the um, curve system that you can use in Unity to give a lot more uh, precision in your variables. So that's it for this week. I'll see you next time.